Day 32 now with only two weeks left of 2009. We're taking a look back at some of the most interesting health care discoveries of the past year. Joining us is Fox 9 medical expert Dr. Arkel Giorgio to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first, the U.S. has been adding a fluoride to its public water supply for decades, and that's, of course, to prevent tooth decay. Well, now researchers from Japan are suggesting that we add lithium. So why is that? Well, they're actually not suggesting it, but they're certainly looking into it. Lithium is a medication that in prescription doses treats mood disorders in people with bipolar disorder or manic depressive illness. And what these researchers found in Japan is that it's, uh, lithium is present in trace amounts in the normal water supply in some communities. And in those communities, they have a lower suicide rate. And so they're really investigating whether trace amounts of lithium can just change the mood in a community enough to really, in a, in a positive way, without having the bad effects of lithium, to really affect the mood and decrease the suicide rate. Very interesting hmm. concept. You know, it's the same reason why we put um, iodine and salt, fluoride and water. Um, there's, there's many different examples of when we put trace amounts of chemicals in the normal supply of food or water to help people's health. Right. Uh, although not, uh, this is the first where they're actually affecting people's moods and, you know, the brain. So that... Uh I'm sure puts up a lot of red flags for people. All right, moving on. Uh, we know the dangers of secondhand sno smoke, but there's also a concern of thirdhand smoke. So explain exactly uh, what this is. That's right. Over the last year, the danger of thirdhand smoke has becoming much more prominent. Thirdhand smoke is the residue that's left over after there's smoke in the air. So after you can't see it anymore, it doesn't just disappear. The residue settles, and it settles in carpets, furniture, car upholstery, and there's studies that show that particularly in children, third-hand smoke residue can be as dangerous as second-hand smoke because children's airways are so much smaller and the residue can be toxic. So one thing that parents may want to really think about is not allowing others to smoke in their home or their car even in the absence of their children because the residue is left over and it could be harmful particularly as kids are crawling on the furniture on the floor. Okay. Um, and finally, here's another interesting uh, thing. British scientists find a new way to treat post-traumatic stress disorder, and this is by playing the video game Tetris. So, really cool. <laughs> this is one of those cool things. Um, Post-traumatic stress disorder, one of the biggest issues with it are the visual images and the flashbacks that come back after someone experiences or sees a horrific event. So, what these researchers showed is that in people who are exposed to just a gruesome event, if they play Tetris afterwards, they have fewer flashbacks than individuals who are exposed to the same event and don't play Tetris. And here's why. Um, the, there's a part of the brain that embeds visual images. And so when you see something terrible, it gets embedded in the brain. Right. Tetris and those falling bricks preoccupies the brain so that the horrific visual image doesn't get embedded in the brain. And so they even, when they did recall of the um, bad event afterwards and people who paid te played Tetris, they didn't remember as much. They weren't having flashbacks. But even when they kept a journal for about a week later, they had 43% fewer flashbacks than people who didn't play. So it just mm -hmm. keeps the brain from encoding um, something that wasn't very pleasant. Right. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, and uh, Dr. Giorgio is going to stick around right. if you have a question for Dr. Giorgio. She'll be logging on to MyFox9.com in a few minutes to answer your questions. Just click on the yellow chat bar. It's right there at the top of the page. And we'll check in with Dr. Giorgio in the Fox 9 Buzz. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you. We've got news